today we will learn about the laser beam machining uh, that is uh, generally known as LBM and it is a non traditional machining process so firstly we give some introduction modern machining methods are established to fabricate difficult machine material such as high strength thermal resistance alloys various kind of carbides fiber reinforced composite materials stellites and ceramics so conventional machining of such materials produces high cutting force that in some particular cases may not be sustained by the workpiece so lbm offers a good solution that is indeed more associated with material properties such as thermal conductivity and specific heat as well as melting and boiling temperature firstly laser is the abbreviation of light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation so now we discuss the main how it works and these are the elliptical reflecting cavity this is the flash light total reflecting mirror partial mirror uh, this is a lens workpiece which is uh, used to remove the material on its surface and this is the focal length position table for holding the workpiece and this is the cnc control so a highly collimated monochromatic and coherent light beam is generated and focused to a small spot high power density are then obtained so as we can see with the help of lasing material a laser is supplied on the workpiece surface so then unreflected light is absorbed and uh, thus heating the surface of the specimen or workpiece on sufficient heat workpiece starts to melt and evaporate and uh, as we can see it removes the uh, material on the surface of the workpiece and uh, high intensity laser beams are not recommended since they form a plasma plum at or near the surface of material with a consequent reduction in the process efficiently due to absorption and scattering losses and uh, in lbm workpiece material is removed through the several effect that including reflection absorption and conduction of light that is followed by melting and vaporization the material of the workpiece with respect to these effect determine the mrr that is material removal rate and here reflectivity reflectivity depends on the wavelength property of materials surface finish and its level of oxidation and temperature and at the given wavelength higher the reflectivity of the material lower is the removal rate and vice versa and here are some advantages of lbm the first advantage is tool wear and breakage are not encountered second one is very small hole with large aspect ratio can be produced next one is a wide variety of hard and difficult to machine material can be tackled and the next one is machining is extremely rapid and the setup times are economical next one is holes can be located accurately by using an optical laser system for alignment and the last advantage is the operating cost is low so these are some advantages of lbm and uh, here are some limitation of lbm the first one is the it has high equipment cost tapers are normally encountered in direct drilling of holes a blind or precise depth is difficult to achieve with a laser and the last one is the thickness of the material that can be laser drilled is restricted to 50 mm and uh, in last i want to discuss the some application of lbm lasers are widely used in many industrial applications like uh, uh, that including the plating heat treatment cladding alloying welding and machining 
so today we have learnt about uh, the working of the laser beam machining its advantages and limitations and the process of lbm subscribe to get more updates and more video on mechanical topics any universe double two you may like and uh, share on facebook with your friends and among the students and you can ask your queries by commenting you can also give your suggestions if required thank you have a nice day